Today for our verse of the day we turn to Ezra chapter 7 verse 10 which tells us a little bit about the man for whom this book is named. It says, For Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord and to do it, and to teach the statutes and ordinances in Israel. This is a simple verse, and if you read just Ezra chapter 7, you learn a little bit more about him and his role, but I just want to touch on a couple things in this verse that we hear about actually repeatedly in the Bible that are important for all of us who call ourselves people of faith, people of the word, people of God's spirit. Ezra had set his heart to study the law of God. This is very similar to what we read in the very first psalm, Psalm 1, that opens that entire book of prayers and praise. And Psalm 1 is about how blessed is the person who studies God's word, who meditates on it day and night, and how the person who does that is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season. And in all that he or she does, they prosper. Um, the Bible is always emphasizing the belief that for those of us who are followers of God, being rooted in God's word, being rooted in God's truth, is crucial and vital to having a life that is content that is prosperous in a spiritual way. And so we see that with Ezra. He set his heart to study the law of God. And I just want to commend you for taking time to watch these videos each day. And I pray that in some way, as we are journeying through the Bible together, that it is helping you uh, to deepen your faith, to grow in your knowledge of God, and to feel like you know God better, and that you know God's word in a deeper way. And, but here's the key. It's not just that Ezra set his heart to study the law of God, but also to do it. Uh, as one Christian teacher said, the problem with too many Christians is that we are educated far greater than our level of obedience. You know, we have a lot of Bible study groups in our church. We have men's groups and women's groups. And that's great that our people are doing that. But it's not sufficient if all we do is sit around and talk about God's Word and study God's Word and break down God's Word. The whole key is to do it. And that's what Jesus says to the lawyer who questions him in Luke chapter 10 about what must I do to inherit eternal life. And it leads to Jesus telling the story of the Good Samaritan. And when Jesus asks him, you know, who proved neighbor to this man? And the lawyer says, the one who showed him mercy, and Jesus says, go and do likewise. And the whole letter of James, of course, is about the importance of being doers of the word. So I pray that like Ezra, you and I can be people who set our heart to study and to learn the word of God, but also, even more importantly, to be obedient and to do it every day.